Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technically T here, and today I'm bringing you case reviews for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Now, I do want to give a huge shout out for speaking. I reached out to them actually asking them if it was okay if they would send me a couple of their videos, I mean, excuse me, a couple of their cases to review on my channel. I didn't think they were going to get back to me because of course, guys, speaking is such a big company. I'm a very small channel just getting started with accessories, but they actually wrote me back and said, sure, they actually will send me some cases. And um, they sent me literally every single case they probably make for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So what we're gonna do is guys, I don't wanna sit here and break up this, break up these cases to each individual review. I'm actually gonna unbox every single case. I'll probably start with the slimmest all the way into the more heavy duty cases. The one I won't do is the liquid air guys, since I already did a case review on the speaking liquid air. So you can go back and look at my videos and check that out. So I'm going to do all of these unboxing of these cases all on the same video. And to make it a little bit easier for you guys, I will put each timestamp of each case. If you want to see a particular one down in the description below and beside, I will actually put the link to the case to make it easier in case you don't, you don't want to watch the whole entire video of all the cases. You can just skip to the section and look at the case that you actually like. So hold on guys, make a drink, chill out. We're gonna go ahead and knock all of these out. So let's get majority of these out the way. And we are going to start off with the Spigen Thin Fit. Now if you guys seen this, if you see my video guys, I'm not really gonna go in too much of the packaging. Spigen packaging remains the same if you actually used them before. You already know what the deal is when it comes to speaking. So I'm not going to get too much involved with the packaging. So let's go ahead and get straight on the case. But if you do know the thin fit guys, is they're basically the most minimalistic case is basically a snap on case. When I had my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge back in the day before the S8, I, I ran this case for an entire year with that phone. I actually love the thin fit if you do want small, minimal protection. So let's go ahead and take a look at the thin fit. Now I'm going to try to keep this video pretty clean because I can throw cases and throw plastic all the way around, but let's try to keep it quick, guys. I'm not going to run over every single cutout because it'll just take up time on the video. I'll run over it on the first one, and after that, guys, you know, if I say the same cutouts, you already know what I'm talking about. So on the right side, guys, we do have a cutout for your power button. Flip it over on the bottom, you have a cutout for your speaker, your microphone, USB Type-C port, and your 3.5 millimeter headset adapter. Flip it over on the left side, you have your cutouts for your volume, your up and down, and your dedicated big speed button. On that top, we do have that cutout for your microphone. Flip it over on the bottom, you have a huge cutout for your camera, fingerprint sensor, and your flash. And as always, guys, you get that speaking branding here on the bottom. So let's go ahead and pop the phone in, see how it actually fits. Okay, let's knock some of these fingerprints off. All right, so here is the Spigen Thin Fit, guys. Like I said, a very thin, minimalistic case that just snaps on. So on that right side, like I said, guys, that cutout for that power button. On the bottom, your cutouts are spot on there. Over on your left side, your volume up and down is just exposed, so no issues pressing them there. And you flip it over on the back, you have your cutout for that camera, and it is protected if you are laying this on the table. Now, you already know, guys, when it comes to the speaking thin fit that you barely get any lay on the table protection. In this case, is more mostly used for your bumps and dings, nothing too serious. But it does have a tiny, tiny lip here, if you can see here, guys. So if you may drop it, you might be okay, but I wouldn't bank on it. This case is not meant for drops. Next, just to go ahead and look at, take, a, take a feel of how the case actually fits. So once this your speaking thin fit cases are in, guys. It doesn't give you a super satisfying click, but these cases are in. Never had an issue with any of these cases actually popping off for me, but if you are to drop it, I have seen cases where the case may actually crack on some sides and then you may have an issue there. Next, let's take a feel of how it actually fit in the hands, guys. And this material, I love the material of this speaking thin fit. It's not very slippery and to me, it always provided enough grip to me. So it's a pretty good feel in the hand, guys. Very thin case, very minimalistic. For the people who don't like to run cases on their phone, guys, this will be an excellent, excellent case for you to actually run. So, guys, here is the Spigen Thin Fit. Like I said, we're going to keep this video rolling. So, Spigen Thin Fit for the Samsung Galaxy. Let's take a look at it again for your Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. All right. 
go ahead and pop this case off. Set it to the side over here. Next up, we have the, put that there. I don't know what was on my phone a minute ago, but anyway. Next, we have the Spigen Liquid Crystal. Now, Liquid Crystal, if I'm not mistaken, is a clear case for Spigen. So let's actually see what they gave us. Oh, that's, that's pretty interesting. They actually gave us a wet wipe in a situation where it's a stain. They actually gave you a wet wipe to actually wipe away the stains. That's pretty dope for when it comes to that. Now, one thing I can already see, guys, I'm not sure if the camera is picking up. Can you already see that little yellowing effect there? I kind of see a little bit of yellowing, so I don't know how that actually does over time, but I'm already getting a kind of a little yellow hue over this case. But as you know, guys, it does have your usual, your cutouts and your raised power button volume up and down since they're not cut out on this one. But let's go ahead and pop it in, see how it actually fits. Like I said, guys, I'm not going to actually go over all the buttons to see tell you how it actually fits. Wow, that case really has a yellow hue to it. Wow. So, looking around the case, guys, power button works very well. Volume up and down button, nice. We click on that Bixby button there. Make sure Bixby doesn't pop any of my personal information up or anything. It just pops up a little video I recorded. Bixby there is on point. Uh, you have your cutouts for your camera and your flash there. How it actually fits on the phone, guys, a little loose. That kind of pops off very easy. It doesn't give a lot of satisfying click there, but it pops off very easy. I'm not sure how that does, but it's very loose, especially right here when it comes to the side, guys. So I don't know about this. Um, what is this one? The ah, I'm going, I'm going crazy right now. The liquid crystal. The liquid crystal right now, guys, is looking a little suspect. It does have a little yellow hue to it. And that turns a lot of you guys off, I already know, and I don't blame you. And it kind of fits a little bit loose on the edges. Taking a look at the Leo Ontario Protection, guys, it does have a little ski slope effect there. So if you want to drop it, it might be good. But for the most case, guys, this is also one of those minimalistic cases from Spigen that doesn't offer a ton of protection. But, you know, if you are a clear case lover, then you might want to check this out. But guys, but just looking at this, it does give off a yellow hue, and that's not my lights. I have LED bright white LED lights, and it's not... You know, most clear cases doesn't give off this yellow hue. So something to pay attention when using the actual um, liquid crystal case from Speaking Guys. Give it a little bit of yellow hue to that. Next, let's take a look at the Speaking Hybrid S. Now, this is also another clear case from Speaking. And let's see if this one gives off that same yellow hue. Right. And this is a kickstand case. As you can see, guys, this also kind of gives you a little slight yellow tint issue, guys. That is not cool speaking when it comes to these cases. But just like the Hybrid S, I think it was called. The Hybrid S. This, here, this is the Hybrid S. Just like the Liquid Crystal, guys, you do have the same cutouts. So let's go ahead, like I said, guys, pop this on the phone. See how it actually fits. Now, this fits a lot, lot better when it comes to the feel of this case, guys. So your power button. Nice and tactile, not mushy at all. Volume up and down, spot on. Bixby button, works like a charm. Your cutouts on the bottom are spot on. Your cutouts on the back, of course, are spot on, guys. Now, I have had these cases for a little while, so it seems like they're kind of a little fogged up a little bit. They've been sitting on this box for a good little while, but not too bad. As you look on the corners, guys, this case does have your air cushion technology. As you can see, those little bubbles, and it actually says it there, air cushion technology, designed in urban California, made in South Korea. You flip it over in the back, guys, you do have your clear, transparent back, and you do have a metal kickstand. So you can prop this up if you want to, just like this. If you want to use it on your desk or somewhere as a nightstand, or if you're watching a movie or something at work, you can prop it up, and this kickstand is actually metal. So it does have a little magnet here. Now how durable the kickstand is, it's a little wobbly. So I don't know how durable it is in the long run, guys, but for right now, for what it's good use for, you can prop it up pretty easy. Use it as a kickstand if you choose to do so. So this is the Ultra Hybrid S. And like I said, guys, the fit on this one is a lot, lot tighter than the Liquid Crystal. The fit is very tight on the edges. It doesn't give a whole lot, very, 
nice snap on guys very nice snap on i'm just a little afraid of how that little yellow tint is on it a little afraid of that looking at the label material protection guys you do see it does have a tiny tiny lip on the edges so if you were to lay it drop it first first i think you're actually be dropping it on the actual case and not the screen itself so that guys is the ultra hybrid s like i said very snug fit guys even when it comes to over here by the volume buttons and also down here towards the usb type c adapter so pretty nice case when it comes there to the ultra hybrid s next we're going to look at the regular ultra hybrid now i think this is the same exact case just without the actual ultra hybrid crystal clear without the actual kickstand so if you don't prefer the kickstand guys you can get the regular ultra hybrid we're definitely not gonna get in details about this guys because this is the exact same case just without the kickstand excellent excellent fit guys super tight on the edges no issue whatsoever there when it's on it the same lip of lay on the table protection there you flip it over on the bod back guys you do have your transparent back there you have your air cushion technology of course on all the corners power button easy volume up volume down nice and tactile hit that bixby button bixby button is spot on cutouts on the bottom spot on this is your ultra hybrid does it feels good in the hand actually this material does feel good in the hand for it to be a clear tpu style it's actually very grippy and it does feel good while you're holding it, it doesn't feel like it's going to slip out of my hand at least for me it doesn't feel like it's going to slip out so very very good grip when it comes to this but if you're into a kickstand you can get the hybrid s but if you're not in a kickstand guys you can get the regular ultra hybrid here so that is the ultra hybrid for your samsung galaxy s8 plus let's pop that off cut that off right there let's see what we have up next all right, next we'll get into a little bit more protection. This is one of the most popular cases. Um, well, not this in particular one. This is the, 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 the case series that actually you can put credit cards and things in here. But this is the Slim Armor CS series. Now I did this case, I think for the iPhone, I did actually for the iPhone 7 Plus. Cause this is your card case. As you see here guys, it actually has a compartment that slides out where you can put your cards in there. Not sure if I have any cards or anything on deck real quick, but I can maybe demonstrate a little something. But let's take a look actually around this case. This is the first style of this case here. Now, it is a two-part case, guys. You can pop it off as you see, but it's no need to pop these cases off. You can install them all as one piece. So on the right side, guys, you do have that power button there. On the bottom, you have your normal cutouts there. On the left side, volume raised up, down, big speed. Top, close, set for your microphone button. On that back, you have your cutout for your camera flash and your fingerprint scanner. And you do have this little slide where you can throw a couple cards in there if you're going out for the club one night and don't really feel like carrying a bunch of things with you. I don't think you can get much in here, but you can get a few things in and kind of keep it discreet. Just don't lose your phone. So let's go ahead and pop the phone in the case, see how it fits. Let's knock these fingerprints off see how it does now this case does add a lot of bulk i can already tell this case does add a good amount of bulk if you can see it right here in the camera it's actually made it very very thick with just this case but looking around it guys power button as you come with speaking guys they're going to be nice and tactile no issues with the power button hitting that bixby button brings up bixby right away your your, your connection on the bottom is pretty good recessed in there your camera is really recessed in there it's a huge huge dividend there when it comes to that camera sensor there and even right here guys like i said you do have space to pit a few cards if you hold on real quick let's see if i can actually grab a card or two out my wallet if i can locate my wallet that might be a a good thing to help the video <laughs> uh, here we go all right, guys, sorry about that. Usually I have a wallet close by when I'm doing these type of cases, but I didn't. Had to do a little bit of searching, so let's go ahead and see if I can pull out a, a card or something that kind of doesn't give any information off. Uh, oh, can't pull that card out. Uh, well, I kind of get rid of all cards that don't have a meaning. 
But, okay, here we go. We can use these two cards. I think these two do a good job. So, I have a Dave and Buster's card, and I have a Kroger's card. So, say you have these two cards, guys, and you want to put them in there. You can slide them in there just like this and close it up. Now, the thing about this, like, like the same thing that was wrong with the iPhone 7 Plus case. You see, it actually gives a little bit of bulge here. So, that's going to tell me that you may can only put in one card and not have it bulge. So, this probably is only used for a single card, if I'm not mistaken, because you put in two with bulges, put in one, it actually works fine. So, guys, this is the Spigen CS Slim Armor. Now, it does fit very good. The edges are nice and stiff. It doesn't actually give a lot, so you have a good fit for the case, and it actually feels very good in the hands with this, tea, with this polycarbonate and rubber materials on the corner. So, the fit is good, guys, not too bad. Adds a pretty good bit of bulk, bulk to it, but if for reason, every reason you need to stash just one card, because all you're going to get here, guys, is maybe one card and maybe one or two dollars in here. If not, your bottom, your edge will be bulking up and it'll be protruding out a little bit. So, guys, this is the Spigen Slim Armor CS case for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Let's go ahead and pop this off. Take a look at the next one. So your next one, guys, is the Neo Hybrid. Now, that's probably one of the most popular cases that you guys may know of when it comes to speaking. Let me get a little nice, some of this water, guys, because I've been doing a lot of talking. Sorry if that was all in the microphone. I do have the lavalier mic on, so it might have been disgusting for you guys to hear. So sorry about that if that's the case. But this is the speaking Neo Hybrid for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, guys. Like I said, if you knew about speaking, this case and the Slim Armor case are two cases that you probably know about because this is, I feel like, is where Speaking all started. This is one of my favorite cases from Speaking, guys. It always looks beautiful. Very nice case, always from Speaking. So, as you know, guys, it has those usual cutouts and your raised power buttons. Once again, this is a two-part case, but we're going to install it all as one. Now, this case actually is in the... I guess we're going to call this a gray color or gunmetal color. Now, I do know they have tons and tons of colors when it comes to these speaking um, slim armors, excuse me, neo hybrids. But let's go ahead and pop it in and see how it fits. All right. So, like I said, guys, two part case here. So, let's take a look of it around. So, when that power button, guys, nice and tactile power button, as you already know. Let's cut it back on. Here, your volume raised up and down. Easy there. Big speed button. Nice and easy to click. You have, let's take a look at your layer on the tail protection. You have, you have that lip, that same lip, this basic lip that we've been seeing for most of these speaking cases. Nice little lip there for layer on the texture. So if you do the drop it, you know, you should be, hopefully you'll be pretty much good in that category. Um, the fit of the case it actually fits very good. The size here, guys, it gives no, it, it doesn't give at all. Sometimes these Neo Hybrid cases fit so tight that it actually makes the, the plastic around here bulge out, guys. But everything is smooth. Everything is very seamless, no issues at all. This feels like a very, very solid case. And I actually might leave this case up here as my daily. This, this Neo Hybrid feels very good for the Samsung Galaxy S8. Even when it fits in the hand, guys, it has a very nice feel in the hand. No issues there that I can say. Um, feels very good in your hand. Doesn't feel like it's gonna slip out. You have your nice speaking branding here. And on the back side, guys, you do have a nice textured, uh, kind of like a polycarbonate, maybe like a hard rubber material that kind of helps with grip and it won't show any fingerprints or anything like that. Your cameras are protected. Everything is spot on when it comes to this case, guys. So this is your Neo Hybrid for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. All right, moving right along. We have four more left. If you guys are hanging with me, you guys are the real MVPs. But we do have four more left. And these are kind of your more heavy-duty style cases. So this one we're going to look at is the Spigen Rugged Armor. So, like I said, guys, we're getting to a little bit more heavy protection. And the Rugged Armor was always a questionable one to me because I would probably put this in the category of below some like maybe like a Thin Fit or something like that because it's, it's, for Rugged Armor, it's still, you know, a, a TPU style case. You know, it's, it's a little stiffer style TPU, but it's... I don't know if I would call this case a rugged armor. You know, I always kind of had a, a vendetta, a beef with that naming when it came to this rugged armor case. So, you know, guys, like I said, this is a hard kind of like TPU style case. As you see, the fit is pretty good. 
has a little bit of give on the edges there, but it's not too horrible. Your buttons, nice and tactile, no issues there. Volume up and down, hitting that Bixby button. No issues, of course, when it comes to that. Flip it over. Like I said, you can take a look at the Leon Ontario Protection, guys. As you said, it does have a little slight raise there. Slight raise there. So if you want to drop it, you should be pretty good in that category. The material is very grippy. We have that hard rubber, and we have that faux carbon fiber design on your top and bottom with that nice Spigen brand in here. But it actually fits. feels very good in your hand, guys. Like it's not going to slip out your hand at all. So a very good feel there. And also, like I said, it fits good. Good lay on terror protection. I lost my train of thought there. Probably run too many times through this case. But this is the rugged armor um, for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Sorry, guys. I haven't done a case review of this long in magnitude. So this is kind of new to me. But the rugged armor, I have a little bit of beef when it comes to the naming of that rugged armor. I'm not sure if you can be rugged with this case. It maybe have a rugged look maybe, but it's not actually rugged. And we're going to get into the two, uh, I would say, heavy-duty protection when it comes to the samsung galaxy sa plus so guys so this is the rugged armor and this is in a black color and i'm sure this comes in also many colors as well so rugged armor for the galaxy sa plus moving right along guys we do have three left this is the rugged armor extra as you can see guys for the samsung galaxy sa plus so let's go ahead and bust in this see how it actually does Kind of the same thing, guys. I'm not sure what it's rugged. I mean, it looks rugged, but I don't know if it's actually built rugged. You know what I mean? If you look at the design of this case, this is also another soft kind of TPU design. It has a more rugged approach to it with these, maybe, you know, these more padded corners. As you can see, there, a little different type of material here. Nice little honeycomb pattern here. Gives it a rugged appearance. On the inside, you have that air cushion there. But let's go ahead and pop it on the phone. See how it actually fits. I think it has definitely a, a more stiff fit than the actual um, regular Rogue Armor. This is just the extra. So as you guys see, power button, everything, nice and tactile. Big speed button there. You have your spot, you, you, your cutouts are spot on all around. Flip it over in the back. Nice material, very, very grippy. Now I do love the grippy material that this honeycomb pattern gives. Your hand barely wants to slide on it. Very nice grip. I guess they call it the extra because of the extra protection on the corners guys so if you were to drop this you should be pretty good you have a pretty nice lip uh raised on the table protection so if you were to drop it on an even surface uh you should be good in that category but it does feel good in your hands give you an extra bit of protection when it comes to these corners and drop it so i guess that's probably where they get their rugged name from here but the fit guys is on point for the most part not not flimsy at all when it comes to those two areas when it snaps on it has a very nice and confident snap doesn't feel like it's going to come off so guys this is your rugged armor extra which it is military grade protected drop tested as it says here on the bottom it does say about that air cushion technology there very nice design guys speaking branding down here below very nice design gives you a little bit more protection so if you're into a polycarbonate like a tpu style case with a little extra drop protection this should be a pretty good case actually feels very good in your hand so the rugged armor extra for the samsung galaxy s8 plus uh moving right along moving right along we're kind of getting to the end of it guys hopefully i can try to make this video under 30 minutes that was my key here is your speaking tough armor case now this is one of their more tougher series i think this is the most tough the, the most tough case that they have um for the samsung galaxy s8 plus so let's go ahead and take a look at it tough armor always been a pretty good solid sturdy case all through the years of me actually running them i've definitely ran these for a lot of cases in the past guys and it's stiff around the edges basically no give two-part case black this does have a kickstand it's, it's plastic this time but a little kickstand definitely there with some speaking branding here on it speaking branding there let's go ahead and pop it on the phone see how it actually fits i already know this case is going to fit great because it's a very this tough armor is very very tough next so for this one guys the tough armor has smooth doesn't raise but it's a smooth power button it says pwr there same thing for your volume up and down it does have a texture button for your bixby's i guess you can differentiate 
between the volume and the Bixby button. For the, for the most part, guys, you can still press them. They're still the same tactile, no issues there. The volume up and down may be a little hard to find because it's all flat, but your, your fingers are probably trained to pick it up. Bixby button, no issues there whatsoever. Lay on the table protection, guys, you do see it does have a little more lip, I think, than the majority of these speaking cases that I've reviewed today. Has a little bit raised lip because this is the tough armor, so you should be good if you were to drop it. Even on the corners, it has a little lip, a little bit on the corners that may protect you in the case you were to drop it there. Um, the feel of the case. The feel actually feels good in the hand, guys. You have that tough armor branding here on the back with that speaking branding there on the back there. Like I said, feels good in the hands with the rubber and also the hard uh, polycarbonate shell on the back. Two-part case, but you can install it at all as in one. If I had to change anything about this case, for it to be a tough armor, guys, I probably would change the material on the back. Now, I'm not sure how this would expand over time with scratches, but it's something that will probably annoy me just a tad bit when dealing with this case. But for the most part, guys, this is a tough armor case. Very, very stiff. Once it's on, it's not coming off at all, guys. I mean, the edges barely, barely give. So if you're looking for some heavy-duty protection, it kind of keeps the phone fairly slim. Not super-duper bulky. Kind of keeps it fairly slim so not too bad guys but this is the Spigen tough armor for the samsung galaxy s8 plus now i haven't been saying the price of them all i should have had a list with all the prices up there but you guys can look in the description and pull the link up when i actually when i when i get done with the video look at the description i have the price in the description on the amazon link so you guys can pull it up the last case that we have guys like i said i'm gonna try to keep this video real quick I'm trying to keep it under 30 minutes but this is your Spigen samsung galaxy s8 plus it's the wallet s case now i've never ran a speaking wallet case so this should be actually uh pretty cool to me um didn't even know they made a wallet case you know for uh these phones i never used it for an iphone but it does seem very high quality if i must say right off hand guys so this is the black speaking wallet case we have speaking branding here we have a magnetic flap which is a good thing to see because a lot of companies don't like to actually have a magnetic flap here. They just want to have the phone just like this and thinks it's supposed to stay closed. Nice magnetic flap. You have your speaking branding here on the front. You have a cutout for your earpiece, so you can probably take a phone call while it's actually closed. You have a cutout for your camera, your flash, and your fingerprint scanner, guys. The the um, threading is, 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 is on point. If you look around the edges, guys, no phrase, anything going on. Seems very high quality. The, the, the leather feels pretty good for the most part. Very soft. On the inside, we do have a snap style case where the phone would actually snap on. And as you see, it does have your air cushion technology there. And on this side, you do have a few slots for a couple wallets, for a couple cars there. And on the bottom here, guys, it says designed by Spigen in Irvine, California, made in China. Doesn't actually say what type of leather this is. I'm not sure the quality of it and how it actually do over time. If you look here, you also can slide a couple dollar bills in this case. So pretty good case, guys. You can put cards and a couple dollars and you can actually maybe replace your wallet for a night out or something with this actual case so let's go ahead and see how the phone fits in the snap portion of it ah oh, wow nice 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 and let's go from there the phone fits very very good once it's in there guys it's not coming out feels very good and once it's in this whole package guys it feels very very premium let me make sure this actually closes pretty good it actually has a little bit of give doesn't close all the complete way, but it actually feels very good, guys. If you were to drop this case, you see it's kind of maybe double protected. You have a little protective against the case here and on the snap-on case. So I feel like if you were to drop this phone anywhere, it actually will be pretty, pretty good and protected. You do have that cutout, as you see, guys, for that microphone in there. You really can't see it through, but as you can see, it does have that microphone there. On the back, your cutouts are all lined up perfect on the back. Your power button there is a raised power button. Nice, easy to get to. On the sides, the back kind of lifts up like this. So it actually gives you pretty good access to that Bixby and volume button if you were trying to use it. Because if it was actually planted down with the case there, it actually would be kind of hard to actually get to those buttons. But for the most part, in the case, guys, it's a little flimsy maybe when it comes around. It might be a tad flimsy, but not horrible. A little flimsy, but... Not too bad. I feel like once it's in this wallet case, guys, 
it is in the wallet case and it's not going anywhere. Like I said, it does have a little magnet there and you probably could take a phone call with using it just like this. So guys, this is the Spigen S, the wallet S case. Now, like I said, guys, I will leave product links down in the description for each one of these cases. I also will go through the video, write down what minute, at what minute timestamp that I actually start the case review of the case. So you guys don't have to watch this whole 30 minute video. Nobody wants to sit and watch a 30 minute video of me rambling about some cases. So I'll make that, you know, I'll do that little extra bit for you. So you guys know what, when to watch what video if you're interested in it. So I will leave all the links down to these, to these, all these cases that Speaking sent me guys. Once again, a huge shout out for Speaking for sending me all of these cases. I can't even pull them in frame right now, but once again, guys, huge shout out for speaking for sending me these cases. So as always, guys, give this video a huge thumbs up. If you like it, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next time. Later.